Welcome to Cooking with the Sternerman. I've been on a, a little bit of a hiatus, a hi hiatus for my channel. <laughs> I've been on a hiatus for my channel, but I'm gonna try to. We're gonna just leave that in. We're not even gonna edit it. We're gonna leave that. In. I'm gonna try to get my channel up and running again. Anyway, today we're gonna be cooking some Manwich Bold, Manwich Bold Sloppy Joes. I got this meat. I picked up this meat here. I got it on sale for $2.90 and I got this pot with a lid here. What I'm going to do is um, turn it on here. We're going to be careful not to touch the meat. Pop it in there and we're going to cover it there. Now, some, some people like to cook their meat on low, but what I found out is. If you put it on high and if you just keep an eye on it and continue stirring it, it'll, it'll cook faster with meat. But on some things, it, it should it should be on low. But with meat, I generally keep it on high to just to, to, to for it to cook faster. Okay, so let me just hold on. All right. First, I need to break up the meat here. Whenever you're not, whenever you're not keeping an eye on it or storing it, you need to always keep your meat covered so that it cooks. So, well, I'll get back to you whenever that's whenever that's ready to to go. Show the meat. All right, I've already cooked the meat here and I've drained it, and this is what it looks like. Get our mic up here. That's what the meat looks like after you cook it and drain it. So now, it's time to open up this sandwich bowl. All right, I always peel the, the labels off so it don't get stuck in the can opener. That's the secret to making your can opener last longer. up here try not to touch the sauce as it goes into the pan here that was a close one but I think I pulled it off now you gotta stir it mix all that this is manwich sundae and it's go good. This is the way I'm gonna show you all how I like to make my sandwiches here. It's hot and hot. Hold on to me. Cover up the meat again. All right, this is how I like to make mine. Got some sandwich bun. I I also like I like the ones with the sesame buns, but. I couldn't find no sesame buns today, so I just have to deal with, with just plain Jane buns. Just little small buns, no sesames. Alright. I just put it on the plate here. Put a little bit of mustard on the on the top bun here. And like a little swirling pattern here. And let me just get and I'm gonna scoop some mixture onto the bottom bun just a little bit so it's not too too sloppy because man which is sometimes can get sloppy let's cover the meat back up again all right now we're going to add some corn chips. I got the Fritos brand, but any brand will do. The Fritos is probably the most popular. Put like a little bit, sprinkle a little bit of corn chips on the top here. Actually, I'll 
probably should have said that. And uh, put a little bit of onion, chopped onions on top of the corn chips. Now I got some pickles. Bread and butter pickles go best with the sandwiches, but we don't have any, so I'm just using regular hamburger dills. Um, what do you say? Maybe about three, or should I do four? What do you say, Mom? Three. Three? All right. There it is. Oh, one of the chips fell. And then place the bun on top, and there you go. A manwich. And that's that's gonna be the video for my manwich, bold manwich. So enjoy. Hopefully I'll be back with more videos.